Welcome back to Anderson's Smoke Show. Today we've got two whole chickens that we're gonna smoke on my Camp Chef pellet grill. Stick around, see how we do it. We're gonna spatchcock these chickens, but before we do, be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so that you can keep up with the latest content. Write me a comment, let me know what you think. Now let's get to working with these chickens. So we're gonna start out today with both of these chickens. These are about five and a half pounds, and we're just gonna pat dry that with some paper towel. That just helps get some of that excess moisture off because too much will wash away the dry rub. All right, so to spatchcock a chicken, it's pretty simple. You need to find the back. It's on the back of the chicken. You can see the neck here. You can see where the tail was there. Essentially what we need is a good pair of scissors. And I got these good kitchen scissors, nice thick handle. And you want to cut along the inside of that back. And a good pair of scissors will go right through the bones. And look at that, just nice and easy. All right, we're through one side. Let's go ahead and go through the other. So we're not done in here. Right up in here, we've got a bone. That's basically the breastbone there. And all we have to do is break this right there. I'm not even gonna open my scissors. I'm just gonna whack that right there. You can see it's already, it's already cracking. So while we're in here, I'm gonna open this up and I'm just gonna take my knife and I'm gonna trim up some of this fat here and just any loose ends. All right, so I'm gonna, take, I'm gonna take some paper towel here and I'm just gonna dry off the inside a little bit, inside of that cavity of the chicken. We're gonna go ahead and break that breastbone down and that's just gonna help that chicken lay flat when we cook it there. We're gonna be using the Suckle Busters Texas Pecan Barbecue Rub today. And while we're here on the back side of that chicken, let's go ahead and just get that seasoned up. Nice healthy coat there. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and flip these over. And I'm gonna throw another glove on while I'm at it. Gloved up again, we'll flip this other bird over. I'm actually going to spin this one around so that you can see the front. And what we wanna do is we're gonna go ahead and pack the chicken breast with some special butter that we're about to make. So what you wanna do is just take your fingers here and pull up on the skin and just kinda of run your hand underneath. You just wanna open that up, release it from the chicken breast. You can see I'm in there pretty good now. Just it allows me to stick my whole hand there. You do the same thing in this one. I can get all the way down in there. So we got that nice and opened up there, nice little pocket. We got some parquet squeezable spread. We're gonna go ahead and get this into the bowl here. We've got some minced garlic. 
I'm gonna take about a tablespoon of that, throw that in there. And then we've got some of the Spiceology, Jamaican Jerk. And I'm just gonna take a couple pinches of that, throw that in there. And we're gonna go ahead and mix that up good. So basically what I want to do is take a big gob of that butter and just pack it down in there in between the skin and the breast meat. Let's go ahead and do it. There, look at that. I'm just going to tuck that down in there. That will melt down and keep that breast nice and moist. We'll get a little bit more here. All right. Move on to this one. Look at that butter. And I got a little excess on my hand, so I'm just gonna go ahead and rub that onto the chicken itself. Got a little extra here. Might as well use it before we lose it. Now it's time for some more Texas Pecan Barbecue Rub. And we're just gonna be nice and generous with that. All right, the chicken seasoned up. Let's go ahead and get the smoker fired up and get these birds a roasting. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing turned on. And we are going to go ahead and click the selection button. We're gonna to go to set temperature. And we wanna do these, we wanna smoke these chickens at 285 degrees. And we're gonna say smoke setting, I'm gonna say seven. Let's go ahead and pepper them chickens up a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and let this thing get fired up and ready to go. Chickens have been seasoned for about 10 minutes. The grill is up to 285 degrees. Let's go ahead and throw these birds in. Now I'm just gonna set them in here to start and then I will reposition them once I get both in. They actually both laid in there pretty nicely. I wanna keep these wings tucked because the tips of those will burn. But honestly, everything looks good. We're gonna go ahead and use the Camp Chef temperature probes that they sent us. I got two of the probes here. I'm gonna put one in each bird. This is the probe two. Since it's on the right, we're gonna put it in the right chicken. And this is probe one. We're gonna put that in the left chicken. I'm just gonna come back here and get it in the breast there. And same thing with this one. These spatzcock chickens are gonna cook a lot faster rather than if you had left them whole. We're gonna go ahead and keep an eye on that internal temperature. We're looking for 165 degrees in that breast. I'll pull out my Thermapen MK4. We'll check it along the way to get an accurate instant read. We'll see you in a little bit. So when it comes to cooking, one of your most important tools is a good instant read thermometer. I've got the Thermaworks Thermapen Mark IV. Let's go ahead and check the temperature on these spatzcock chickens. So we're looking for 165 degrees in the breast. Let's go ahead and look. 151, 149, we'll go ahead and check this one here. 150, and 151. So just looking at that, everything is cooking even. We've got another 15 degrees to go until it's time to pull these out. If you're serious in the kitchen or at the grill, be sure to get yourself a good instant read thermometer like the Thermapen Mark IV. Yeah, 
Yeah, so um, that's my house over there, and uh, I need a spatula and some tongs to get the chicken off. So this is why the cameraman gets paid the big bucks, you know, because I can't get my hair wet. So he's, uh, he's got to help a boy out. Uh-oh, he's coming in hot. He's coming in hot. All right, I got a couple tools with me. I'm going to start with the spatula and just make sure that the chicken is not stuck down to the grill. I don't want this to fall apart as I go to remove it. All right. All right. I'm going to get in here really quickly and I'm just going to try and pick the chicken up and get it onto that cutting board just like so. Man, does that bird look delicious. Same thing with this one. Get it up on the board and we are ready to get this thing over to the counter and cut. This spatchcock chicken is done. It was in the grill at 285 degrees for about two hours and 10 minutes or so. We hit 165 degrees in the breast. It is time to get these trimmed up. Why don't you come check it out? All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and carve some of that breast there. And this is what I want to give, I want to try this right here. Man, is that juicy. Check that out. Look at that juice. That looks phenomenal. All right, it is time to try this smoked spatchcock chicken. Man, that is so tender, so juicy. That Suckle Buster's Texas Pecan Barbecue Rub. Got a little sweet, little heat. Damn, that is good. Thanks again for watching. And check us out next time on Anderson Smoke Show. Thanks again for tuning in to Anderson Smoke Show. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel so that you can keep up with the latest content.